Welcome back. In this movie, we will talk about the camera and how we can navigate the scene to get the looks and maybe the close-up or the specific angle we want to capture. Dealing with a camera in a 3D environment tends to be confusing sometimes, especially when you're a beginner. All you had was zooming and panning in your 2D work area in PSRI or others. So take it slowly and don't be so heavy on yourself. Alright, to get the most out of the camera you need to know three things. What are the tools that can control the camera? And its shortcut in order to use it to make the workflow faster. What's inside the camera menu and how to use it? Controlling the camera has nothing to do with zooming in or out of your canvas. You may think it's silly, but you'll do it. Let me explain. In the tool menu, you have three tools to deal with the camera. Obit tool, pan tool, dolly tool. If you hover over them a pop-up will show a tool shortcut, try to memorize it to use later. Now right-click on the orbit tool, you will get another sub-tools which are tripod tool, horizon tool, and roll camera tool. To use the orbit tool you have to select it or click one on the numpad. Or simply right-click and do it. Alright, now let's try the tripod tool. This one is a big deal, trust me. The horizon tool can help you do the magic moves perfectly. Watch and learn. The roll camera tool is okay. If you are wondering what to do with this interaction mode, then okay let's try it. Ah, uh, I got it. It can make the rolling vertically or horizontally. You just need to click shift when applying a move. You may don't like the last move you make with the camera. So, you feel that sort of natural instinct to make this lovely control plus Z thing. Mamma mia, Marcello, that's not how you hold the pistol. Just don't do it because it will undo your steps of building that scene, not camera movement. Instead, you can try these little buttons there to undo or redo. Or head to the camera menu and do it, explore the other possibilities. You can bookmark an endless number of camera views, the first one will be set as default. Of course, change, update, or delete it later. Even if you upside down it, you always can fall back again, you can set the home default by clicking Ctrl plus B or head to the camera menu. Also, you can look from the top, down, or any preset view exists here. Pan tool does what it's made for, panning through the scene. The shortcut is 2 from numpad or space plus right click. Now let's try this dolly tool. Dolly moves the camera in and out of the scene. The next one is very interesting, it's the dolly zoom. It can change the dolly and field of view to maintain the framing. Rolling through the scene is completely different from zooming in and out of the entire canvas. Now, look. The hand tool can't operate to the canvas until there's a significant amount of zooming. At this moment you can control the canvas the way you expect. And you may try control plus zero to fit the canvas. It will work. Hope this was helpful, take care of yourself. See you next.